Probably one of the most highly requested versions of Tots vs Sweat so far has been the Eredivisie. It turns out there are a lot of Dutch guys that watch my video, so hello and welcome to the video to all of you guys and to everybody else. Today we're going to be doing the, the Eredivisie version of Tots vs Sweat. So we start in goal with 80 rated non-rare Zoet. Zoe, I'm not sure how you say his name. Uh, I wanted to buy an orange Tim Krul, but he was like 50,000 coins and there was one on the market. So someone was probably uh, hoarding them and it wasn't the best idea for me to go ahead and buy. But our first battle today is between Karsdorp, the sweaty right back, and team of the season, Haps. Both of them look actually very, very good in terms of statage. Karsdorp already does have... A Tots version as well available to you if you wanted to pick him up. Uh, but for now, obviously, this is Tots versus Sweat. I need half my players to be sweaty. Half of them need to be Tots. And that is the first battle between the two of them. So, in the centre-back spots, we have got uh, Sanchez versus Riderweld. Riderweld being the sweaty, 76 rated with decent pace centre-back. Uh, and then we have Sanchez, team of the season, 86 rated with 76 pace. 87 defending and 88 physical. He looks to be actually a really good centre back because I'm pretty sure he's like six foot two as well. So impressed by the card stats on that particular player. Moving on then to our left and right mid today. In the right mid spot, we've got Narsing. Now Narsing actually moved to Swansea, so he's quite expensive as a uh, PSV item on the game. And then we have Tots Elia. I managed to pack this guy uh, and he's 87 rated with 95 pace and 83 shooting. So yeah, looks to be quite decent on the game. And uh, I I'm looking forward to testing him out in game, seeing what he actually can do for us. And then in the midfield, we've got, I would say probably the, the one I was looking forward to using the most, which is Tots Klaassen. Because he's 89 rated, he's like one defending away from being club 80 and, and really far into club 80 as well with some of his stats. Versus Guardado. Now, Guardado is actually very well rounded, uh, but he's like the paciest centre midfielder in the Eredivisie. So, that's why I've chosen him today. Other than him, everyone's just like super slow and nothing really about them. Uh, they're all sort of non-rare gold. So, I figured he would be the best option for centre mid. And then up front, we have got... Bertrand Traore, who on previous FIFAs has just caused me nightmares. Like, the guy is so, so sweaty. Uh, loads and loads of pace and all of that. Maybe not so great this year in terms of this 75-rated gold version. But he's up against Team of the Season Dolberg, who is uh, a very young talent for Ajax and who looks to have a great future ahead of him. He's got an 86-rated Tots on FIFA 17. I wonder what that could be in years to come. He's got 80 pace, 86 shooting, uh, and 85 dribbling. So, not the greatest bit of pace on him, but I think he'd actually probably do quite a good job up front. So, that's the team. Let's move on into the clips that we got with the players. I actually scored with Karsdorp there. Uh, I was... All of these games were played in the weekend league. So, it was against tough opposition. And I, I was definitely struggling with this team because... An error of easy side with half of the players that are kind of like very bang average. It, you're going to struggle against some of the better players on the game because they're all using like their red cards, their top cards, all, all of the stuff that people have got in the weekend league at their disposal. People normally use their best team. And it is me just rocking up with a 4-4-2 error of easy squad. Um, but that's not to say some of the, the goals we don't score are pretty feisty. Pretty fiery. We got some some long shots from both the centre mids there. One really nice one from uh, Clarsen, and then a couple of very nice ones from Guardado as well. That's that's a superb strike, uh, and I think he scores again right here. Traore doing some great work, playing it in easy pass, and then Guardado just banging it. He's actually got a really decent left foot, and I've been put off the Tots version of Guardado because I know he's got low strength. But after using this one, I was super. Super, super impressed with this, the regular gold version. I reckon his tots would be outstanding. Literally out of this world in terms of statage. And then we got some goals with Elia. I have to admit, Narsing did friggin' nothing for me. Like, he was literally garbage. Uh, in fact, he was one of the players which stood out the most for giving the ball away to my opposition. He was passing was just trash. Definitely don't recommend him on FIFA. Uh, he, he doesn't seem to work for me. He might be quick, but that's kind of all he's really got. Whereas Elia, having those tots boosts, 
has actually turned into a monster. You know, he's got great pace and dribbling just like Narsing, but way better. And then he's got the shooting and the passing ability that follows through with all of that and turns him into a great player. I think that's the reason why he is like 50,000 coins or above. Simply because he kind of has got the the ability as well as just the pace, you know. Uh, and then we, well, we score goals with, with Dolberg. Uh, I actually didn't manage to score a single goal with Bertrand Traore. And that wasn't for the want of trying or the lack of the want of trying. Uh, I, I did, but he, he bottled it time and time again. Uh, not good in front of goal in the weekend league was, was Bertrand Traore. To be fair, he had nice physical, good pace, four-star skill moves, and was useful in my build-up play. Uh, but I really felt like I needed to pass it off to Dolberg. Just because he's got way, way, way better finishing. Uh, Elia plays it out to Traore right here. And as you can see, he's bursting through. With some players, I might take a shot right there. But I knew it wouldn't go in. Uh, it was the wrong angle and stuff. So I whip it across and Dolberg's there to score. He obviously hasn't got his face rendered into the game. Hopefully that'll change next year as he is such a, a talent. You know, and perhaps they'll go to Ajax and get all the face scans done and all of that stuff. Uh, but he's got some shot power about him. And he's also got a bit of physical about him. And he's decent in the air. He's relatively quick. He's definitely not like an upper tier tot striker. Like There are way better strikers to use on this game than Tot Stolberg. But he's a fun one. And he's one of the best to use in the Eredivisie. So there is that going for him as well. But in, in this league, I might recommend that you guys use Tots Jurgensen. As he, he is like a big old beefy 90 rated tots and he's more upper tier than someone like Dolberg but Dolberg's a very popular player I wanted to test him out uh, because I think you guys would be more interested to see how he performs as well so in our first battle between Haps and Karsdorp Karsdorp actually scored for me they both did really really well but I think in terms of like value for money and stuff I'm gonna have to give this one to Karsdorp because they both did equally as good and in that scenario, you might as well pay less for the player. If you're looking for an amazing right back, I imagine Tots Karsdorp would be just out of this world. Crazy, crazy good. There's a reason why he is 60,000 coins. So it goes 1-0 to Sweat right now. And we are going to quickly equalize with Team of the Season. Because this Tots Sanchez at centre-back is, is awesome. Like, really solid as a centre-back. I wasn't expecting him to be any good really like I wasn't expecting an error of easy center back to really stand out to me but I'm almost like thinking of ways that I can get, can like fit him into other squads and stuff because he's actually really solid unfortunately uh being Colombian in the error of easy it's gonna he's gonna struggle to get nice links you're gonna have to link him to Ajax players really uh and there's a couple of good ones of them but not like a whole bunch where you can get a nice triangle of perfect chemistry together so you might sort of struggle there just a little bit anyway but moving on to left mid versus right mid this is an easy one right i said how poor narsing was i said how good elia was in game so team of the season takes this one two to one right now uh narsing like i literally had to pay 5k for him as well because uh he's a rare player in the era of easy simply because uh, he now has a swansea card so his ps3 one's out of packs but Elia, four-star skill moves. He got three goals and two assists in six games in the weekend league. So that was actually pretty impressive too. But it's the fact that he has got those boosted shooting and passing stats, which means that he's actually got some, some depth behind him and he's not just all about the pace. Um, so yeah, he takes that one and it goes 2-1 to Tots right now. So at 2-1 to Tots, we can now move on to the battle of the center midfielders. And... That is, of course, between Guardado and Klaassen. Now, both players were pretty good for me, but one really stood out as exceptional, and that was this guy, Guardado. He just was really, really good on the game. When you look at those stats, you don't think much about him, but don't forget his team of the season is Club 80, if you were looking to pick up that version of him. Um, but Klaassen scored a lovely goal, but that's kind of all he did for the rest of the time. Guadardo was definitely the, the hard worker, and I think he gets the point, which of course levels it out at 2 all. Now, we move on into the final round, which is of course the striker versus striker, Traore versus Dolberg. And as you guys know, there is only going to be one winner. It is of course team of the season, because Tots Dolberg is a lot better than, than regular gold Traore. And 
Sometimes that's not the case. You know, we've had two sweaty players here, which are just better than the TOTS version in terms of value for money and stuff. But this time, Dolberg, like, if you just buy Traore and have him up front, you're probably going to struggle, especially in things like the Weekend League. Whereas Dolberg, he's at least going to get you some goals and get you some assists. Four goals, three assists in six games is actually not too bad of a tally, um, considering the, that he had to work with some of the players like Narsing and stuff who were just pretty terrible on the game. Uh, so... Overall, I would say that, yeah, you can build a really nice Eredivisie side. I'd say you definitely do need to get Sanchez. i say you definitely need to get Elia into your team. Um, I think Tots Guardado and Tots uh, Karsdorp would be fantastic players because I think their regular versions are just insane as well. So boosted versions of them would be outstanding. Other than that, try and get as many blues in as possible uh, because some of the golds feel really, really low level and low rated. And uh, that's not going to do you so well in the more competitive games. So I hope you guys have enjoyed today. Smash a thumbs up if you have. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Peace.